Hi everyone, my name is Saloni and I am a technical consultant here at Glidefast. Today we will be covering new Tokyo capabilities in Service Catalog. In the Tokyo release, we will now have ability to add questions, sections or steps in the Catalog Builder to help Catalog editors. I am going to demonstrate how we can add custom steps or sections in the Catalog Builder. We will add a new step to hide attachment button. Let's navigate to maintain wizards. Click on Create Catalog Item. Let's click on New to create a new step. I am going to name it Attach Any Additional Attachments. Order would be 300. In the feedback, we are going to select Is Attachment Required? Is Attachment Required is not available out of the box, I have created a new one by clicking on the New button for this demo. And Save. We will now click on New under Catalog Wizard Sections. Let's name it as Attachment Required. And click Save. Now that we have created a step and section, we also need to add a questions to the step. To add a question, we need to click on New under Catalog Wizard Questions. I am going to select Hide Attachment button in Question field and click Submit. Now that the configuration is completed, Let's navigate to Catalog Builder. Click on Create a Catalog Item Template. Template name would be New Template. The newly added step is also visible under Questions Step. This is our new section and this is the feedback that we configured. I am going to quickly fill out all the mandatory fields and click on Submit. Let's move on to another cool feature, I am going to navigate to Catalog Builder again and click on Create a new Catalog Item and Continue. Let's choose the template we created and click on Use this item template. I am going to again quickly fill out the mandatory fields and click Submit. Now let's navigate to Local Update Sets. If we notice, the new update set is created by default and it will always start from CB. The update set is created by default if the catalog item is created using Catalog Builder. The new functionality will make it easier to move the catalog items from one instance to another. In Tokyo, we also have a new service catalog overview dashboard. I am going to navigate to the dashboard. This dashboard will provide you useful aggregated data like fulfillment automation coverage, translation coverage, and conversational coverage for the catalog items. The new dashboard will be useful to the catalog admins to analyze the use of the catalog items. Alright folks, that is all for today. Thank you for watching this video.